I'm John Larson, technical trainer for surface and exploration drilling with EpiRock USA. Today we're working with the PowerRock D60 and we're going to go over the starting and stopping procedure of this machine. At this point, we've already done our pre-shift inspection, so it's safe to go and turn on the battery as we've already checked all of our fluids, levels, and the machine for leaks. Here we've moved into the cabin after turning on the master switch. In order to start the machine, we need to have the engine speed selector or the drill tram selector into the engine start position. Engine speed on turtle. Tramming doesn't matter which position it's in, but I like to leave it in turtle. Then we have to take our key, turn it to the on position. After the angle indicator illuminates, we have to wait for our engine monitoring gauge to light up and set to zero. Then it's safe to start the engine. To stop the engine is a reverse procedure. Simply turn the key to the off position. Now take note, before turning off the master switch, there's a red light by the master switch that must turn off before you shut the master switch off. After you shut the engine off for an extended period of time or at the end of your shift, before shutting the master switch off, we have to wait for this red light to turn off. While this red light's on, what we're doing is we're reclaiming the unused DEF fluid from the system so it won't crystallize inside of there. Once that light is in the off position, as it is right now, we can safely turn off the master switch. Additional information can be found in the operator's manual that's supplied with each machine. If you need further assistance from these videos, please go to the website epiroc.us. That's E-P-I-R-O-C dot U-S or make note of our toll-free 1-844-437-4262, or contact your local service center that's by EpiRock or your dealer.